back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm Mallory. Go ahead and subscribe. Join the fam. I'm sure you guys thought I forgot about our part two of the Meredith Duxbury palette, but I did not. We are back at it again. We're going to try to figure out a way to get a super cute look out of this. The last look that we did, if you did not see that video, I will link it in the description box or put a card up here for you to see. Otherwise, we're going to get right into another look. So I can't find the... Um, I can't put the packaging that this came in, but it had a super cute eyeshadow look that I really wanted to try. But after spending time with it, I don't actually care to try that look anymore. But I did see this look on Pinterest and let's try to duplicate it. It's super cute. I know that people aren't really doing their makeup like that anymore, but this girl is. I am. It's me. I feel like my ponytail is like off center today. But let's get right into this blue eyeshadow look. We are gonna do something, I mean, something similar, not exactly that, but I just feel like something blue would be cute. We haven't really done a an intense blue look in a while. Let's see, because I feel like the last time that we used this palette, we had an issue with one of the blues. I cannot remember which one it is. I think it was either Hudson or Diamond Iceberg, something. Something somewhere went wrong. So let's just try to give it another chance. Everybody deserves a second chance. Well, not everybody, but you know, some people do. Let's go ahead and start in the shade right here. This is Brandon. We're gonna use this as our transition shade for this look. So I don't think that we used this shade last time, but I wish that we would have because the, the pigment on this is actually insane. It's giving more than what I expected, but I'm here for it. So the next shade we're gonna go into is this one right here. This is Hudson. I Maybe we used this one last time. It looks like I might've used it, but I don't remember so. We're just gonna use it here. But again, everything deserves a second chance. So we'll just say that it did fine last time until it proves us otherwise. Now you wanna make sure to keep the other brush handy. If you're following this tutorial, just wanna make sure you keep it handy. You always need it to blend. So the blend on that is looking absolutely amazing. Let's do the same on the other side. I love that whenever we do something and it's working out for us, that is amazing. Feels amazing, looks amazing. So far so good on this look, y'all. I'm actually really liking the way that this is turning out. So this is actually a look. I was thinking I was just gonna do a look for the video and then redo my makeup before I go out today. But since I dyed my hair jet black, I've been in my gothic era anyway. So I'm gonna wear all black today. So it might be a look, I might just keep it. I just keep it the next shade we're gonna go into is this dark blue right here this one is called endless nights now we are using a morphe x9 ff6 brush we're gonna keep this pretty low Ooh. keep it lower than i did it'll be fine it'll be fine i can fix it it'll be fine it's fine so I'm gonna go back and forth between these two brushes. The first brush is the one that I used with the shade Brandon, the lighter shade, just because I don't want this to get much darker. I wanna keep, keep the brightness of it. I just want to deepen up the crease area. We can always go back into that shade Hudson and bring that pigment back if we need to, but I don't think we do. It's, Blending together very nicely. Now I just want to make sure that I can keep keep the lighter shades blended up top, but still be able to cut my crease in the same spot I'm supposed to, since I have, I guess I would say I have hooded eyes because I need to be able to cut it like right where my eye is creasing, which wouldn't really leave us with much pigment left. So I do need to bring this up just a tad. We still want the area here to be lighter, but we definitely need to bring this up a little bit, especially if I'm gonna be cutting the crease like I want to. This blend took a lot longer than I was planning for, so I'm gonna speed it up whenever we go into this side, but I'm gonna repeat the exact same steps on the other side. Okay, yes, yes much better so now let's cut the crease i'm gonna do it off camera because it takes me a while you guys know this and yeah we'll be back to do the lid shades a few moments later i'm not even gonna lie to y'all <laughs> literally this took me the longest it's ever taken me to try to cut a crease and i'm not sure why i'm having such an issue with it but this cut crease is not perfect so don't try to zoom in and if you do definitely don't come for me because i know it's bad i know it is but 
let's just move right along because I don't have all day. On this picture, she does pretty much like an all blue look. There's even blue on the lid. I'm not exactly sure that I want to do just that. So I'm thinking we're gonna go into hot glam first and then go back into Brandon for our lid shade and then blend out the outer corner. And she does have a like full cut crease, but like I mentioned before, y'all, if I don't know what happened or what was going on, but it was just not working well. So, so yeah, this is actually Brandon that we're taking first. We're gonna put that on the tail end of this cut crease. And the shade is it's so pigmented, so bright. So I'm not mad at it for a lid shade. I am just more so mad that it took me so long to get any type of cut crease. Okay, and now I'm going in with that shade Hot Glam. So I think I might actually be able to get like a tail if I bring it out. Like blend, blend out Endless Nights over here again. Might actually look okay. Okay, let's repeat the same on the other side. I'm actually liking how that looks. It looks pretty good. I really, really like the shade brand. It is so pigmented and I don't even know. It's giving Winter Wonderland. It's giving Elsa for sure. Frozen. Now, the longer I'm wearing this blue shade, Brandon, the one that I just said that I loved, it is starting to get a little bit patchy. I'm not really sure what the what the issue is. Why we can't stay stay looking good. With some of these shades, like the longer you wear them, the patchier they get, or they start to get, because what is that? Morphe, uh, going back in with Endless Nights again to blend out that crease. We try to, shades starting to act weird. Don't know what we're gonna get. Okay, so I'm using the milk makeup mascara but look what just happened i just pulled it out and i'm not sure where this little part is supposed to go or like what all this chunky stuff is but girl ghetto the ghetto up oh. oh well i just pushed it back and it went like that so. so yeah well i just added um i just added my liner i can't do that and talk at the same time so yeah i just did that um i'm gonna add some mascara I think that we, I think that I want to do like some under eye blue stuff. This blue look is, it is definitely, I like it. It did come out better than what I thought, but it's definitely too much. So we're probably not gonna wear this to work, but let's go ahead and put some blue stuff under my eye. So I do want to try to do kind of like what she has in the picture. She started, it looks like she has the bright blue right underneath. So that's what we're gonna do. like a winter wonderland goddess yeah that's not gonna, <laughs> that's not gonna work oh my god this is just turning into a nightmare i thought that was gonna go so much better than it is but look at that shade right there i dug my nail straight into it and i don't know which nail it was okay well let's go into that shade actually let's try duxbury this shade right here it's like a dark greenish blue I'm gonna put that right underneath. Yeah, I like that a lot better. This blue underneath there though, that's gonna have to start blending or it's gonna have to go. It's gonna have to go. This blue, this light blue, it's gonna go. It's looking weird. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this look. We do have a ton of fallout and add some lashes and I'll be back to show you guys the final look. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I kind of feel like this look came out like, like it's a miracle we even made it through the video. Because even after I had the look together and I was changing everything, I was like, you know what? My eyes look kind of like different sizes. And I was like, maybe it's the eyeliner. So I go back to try to fix the eyeliner and it's so thick now. This is the final eyeshadow look. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you hate it, it's okay. I'm not in love with it either. I just feel like, wow. We did all that time recording just for the makeup look to come out like this. Like even like 
my face makeup i'm just not in love with it this look was a complete fail but in regards to the palette i do think that these blues are very pigmented i do want to just say that this shade right here brandon the one that we tried to use on our lid and hot glam because i know for a fact we used hot glam last time and it did the same thing it's very very patchy and turns out brandon's pretty patchy too how dare you guys be patchy whenever we're trying to give your palette a second chance we're trying to do a great job here but if we're talking about the shades that i do like hudson was great endless night fire absolutely gorgeous and definitely had like a bit of a shimmer in there which i was not expecting because it doesn't look shimmery at all and or where did we get the shimmer from where did the shimmer come from i don't know girl but it was in there i saw it i saw it, it was in there and this shade right here duxbury very very gorgeous even though we just used that underneath the eye it's still still one of my top top three in this look so yeah if you have not picked up this palette already i would say we definitely are gonna probably see it again do something a little less crazy next time but so far these shades are doing a great job we just have the few patchy ones here and there but i mean it happens if you're not already subscribed make sure that you subscribe like this video let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this eyeshadow look and you guys will see my face in the next one